This is an EcoFlow Delta 2, a lithium iron phosphate battery with lots of power points and plugs for charging stuff and I'll tell you more about that shortly. This is a solar panel, a 220 watt solar panel designed to charge EcoFlow units. Now the solar panels are set up, it was quite easy, it took about three minutes all up, that's from start to set up, never been set up before. When I set it up I'm thinking this looks smaller and it hasn't got the panels on the back, it's a totally different panel. Then I looked at the box and didn't, did not even realise that uh, when EcoFlow sent me this for review, it quite clearly says next gen 220 watt. If you saw my EcoFlow Delta 2 video last year, you would have seen that I, uh, I reviewed it and I, I charged it with a 220 watt bifacial solar panel, meaning you can get light from the back as well to help you get the maximum charge. This is a totally different solar panel. It's still 220 watt, but it's smaller, it's not bifacial, and it's got its own stands. And when I took it out of the box, it actually sits quite straight. It wasn't all fan folded like the old one, so the old one's good. I've had the old one nearly 12 months and it's still working fine, but that's certainly better in a more compact sort of a, uh, a package. EcoFlow have just released a gadget and it is an absolute game changer. And they wanted to send me one to review it, but I declined. Not because I don't like the look of the product, but because it's a little bit over my head. It's a little bit above my pay grade, if you know what I mean. I'm not qualified to talk about too much amps and watts and voltage. and it just I don't understand it, and it's not my specialty. But I do know a lot about this, because I've had it for 12 months. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you about their new product. I'll tell you about it, steer you in the right direction, and then get on with the review. These EcoFlow units can be charged by solar, by your car and the cigarette lighter in your car or 12 volt charger or from the mains power point at home. Now when you charge from a car charger you usually get 100 watts, sometimes 80 watts, it varies from car to car for some reason, I don't know why, but usually 80 to 100 watts an hour charging. EcoFlow have just released a unit called a digital alternator. And what it does, it charges in-car charging at 800 watts an hour. That's eight times faster than regular car charging. That's almost as, as fast as mains charging. So you can charge something like this, which is a kilowatt, in, about, in less than an hour and a half from empty. How it works, I don't know, and that's why I'm not doing the review. I can't get my head around it. All I know is that rather than stick it into the cigarette lighter, you, you, you adapt it directly to your battery and then you can just run it through the firewall or into the car and there's a cord there that you can charge this at 800 watts an hour. Now, I've told you about it, I'm going to put links in the video description below to where you can find it and I'll try and find some other YouTube creators or content creators from overseas that I get a lot of information out of that I turn to for advice and I'll share their videos if they've reviewed it. I'll share theirs because they're, they're up to speed but it's just a little bit above my head to talk about that sort of stuff so I said sorry I can't do it but what I can do is I can re-review the Delta for you. So. This is my EcoFlow Delta. I've had it for not quite 12 months. It's a kilowatt, 1,024 watt hours. It's a smidge over a kilowatt in power, which is quite a lot of power. It has 1,800 watt output to run devices and appliances. Let's, uh, let's go through everything about this unit. On the side here, the first thing you'll see is this little flap. That is just so you can get a cord to run that to one of these, another one of these, but a power pack. The, the, the battery or the power pack doesn't have the face on it, it's just a battery. And you can you can use three of them with this EcoFlow 2. I call it daisy chaining. You can daisy chain two more and end up with three kilowatts of power, which is quite a lot of power. The EcoFlow Delta 2, as opposed to the original EcoFlow Delta, the Delta 2 is lithium iron phosphate. Lithium iron phosphate is much safer than regular lithium iron. It's much longer lasting. You can charge them up to 3,000 times before they start losing memory, whereas regular lithium ions normally only about 800. So, we, so far, we've got one kilowatt of storage and it's lithium ion phosphate. It's got one, two, three, four USB ports. So, you can charge phones, tablets, and whatever you need to charge from USB. You can even charge rechargeable torches and stuff. It's got two USB C out. So, we've got four USB A and two USB C. On the side it's got the, the port for daisy chaining batteries together which I already spoke about. On the back 
we have two little AC plugs. I don't know many people that use them anymore. They're a little bit older, but you might, might have a device that uses them. I haven't got any. We've got the cigarette lighter. Although I think they've got to be politically correct and call it the 12 volt adapter. Us old people call it a cigarette lighter plug. <laughs> it's got the cigarette lighter plug and it's got four power points direct for direct current. And on the top here, we've got this little orange one, which is power in. We've got a little uh, a plug here, which is the mains power. If you charge it from the wall, it's got its own plug. So this one here is for car charging and solar charging. This one here is for charging from the wall. Then we've got an overload button. So if you overload it without meaning to, it'll, it's got a safety switch that'll click off. It's maximum of 1800 watt output. So you can have one 1800, you might have a, a, an angle grinder that's 1800 watts. You might run your microwave. My microwave, I've had my microwave running off this and it runs just under 1800 watts. And you can run that off this, no worries. But you wouldn't run two of them. You might have one 1800 watt device. You might have two 950 watt devices. You might have four, or two 900 watt devices, I meant, sorry. You might have four 450 watt devices. You can have any combination, as long as it doesn't go over 1800 watts. There is a thing called X-Boost, which allows you to use up to 2,400 watts, and you've got, to, you've got to control that through the app on your phone. With X-Boost, you can use up to 2,400 watts, but not for very long, because you'll probably run out of power, if nothing else. Now, speaking of the app, this is all app compatible. You can download the EcoFlow app, you can link that to the app, and then you can control the current. You can control how much is going in, how much is going out. I'm out the bush now. If this was at home charging up on the solar panels, I can sit it from out here and see whether it's being charged or not, whether it's, whether it's charging, you can monitor it. It's, uh, the app's actually quite handy. Now, inside the unit are cooling fans. When it's under a heavy load, it gets hot and the cooling fans come on and help cool it down. You, when, you, when you're charging it from the wall, it'll charge at like 1200 watts or something crazy. That's a lot of power and things get hot so the cooling fans come on. When you're discharging it to run, say, a microwave or something like that, the fans will come on and cool it right down as well. Now, what I want to do is I want to tell you how I've used this over the last 12 months. Some of you may have seen my catch and cook air fried redfin video. I took this out of the bush and I plugged my air fryer into it. It drew about 1500 watts, so it ran it comfortably and I cooked fish in my air fryer out the bush. So if you're camping, you can use one of these to cook on your air fryer or your microwave. I've taken it with me on a... We're air frying by the bank of the creek. Now, in case you're wondering how I'm air frying by the bank of the creek, ugh, let's go down here. I've got my EcoFlow. This is the EcoFlow Delta. It's currently, oh, it's flashing. It's currently pulling 1,425 watts of power. That's an 1,800 watt unit. And this is a 1500 watt air fryer. It normally pulls about 1450 watts like it is now. So it does it really, really easily with 300 watts to spare. How good does that look? <laughs> Microwave. I've taken it with me on a few fishing trips just to keep, uh, to keep for charging batteries. I use it a lot. I use it a lot for charging my wife Loretta's um, Canon R5 camera battery because she's got a habit of forgetting to charge her battery until we go out So I take this out because it can plug it into the back into the power points I've used it to run angle fringe uh, 12 volt fringes I'll say I've got three 12 volt fridges because I've done a couple of fridge reviews These run them no worries at all one of them my angle doesn't have a, two, a 240 volt socket It only has the cigarette lighter plug or the 12 volt socket, but I can run that off this no worries at all the thing that sticks out to my mind, I've used it a lot out the bush for camera batteries and stuff, but the thing that sticks out to my mind the most is that last summer we had a number of blackouts at home. We lost our electricity a few times. The hot days put a lot of, uh, a lot of strain on the power grid and it went out. At one stage, it was a really hot day and we lost our power for seven hours. Seven hours. Now in that seven hours, when the power went out, I waited about 10 minutes. But I'm going to go and get me uh, my Delta. I turn this on, 
It had 75% in it. It was actually charging in the sun at the time, but it wasn't fully charged. But it was 75%. I brought it inside. I plugged my fridge in, my, my kitchen fridge. And not only did they keep the kitchen fridge running for seven hours straight, but it still had 35% battery in it after seven hours. And on top of that, I had an extension cord plugged into it and I had a pedestal fan running. So it ran my kitchen fridge and pedestal fan in less than half of the unit and half of the capacity for seven hours. This really got me out of trouble it's that day. It's not all that sunny today, it's partly cloudy, but hopefully we've got enough sun to demonstrate these solar panels. Let's go and have a look. These legs, which are held by elastic, they're a game changer. I'm very impressed with these legs. This was in the charger cable box. I know what it is, but I didn't open it up when I set up the cables so that I could walk. I deliberately wanted to walk you guys through it. Basically, this is the adapter that plugs the cables into the power bank, into the delta. Let's open it up. So basically, this is all you do. There's two plugs, a red and a black, and then that plug at that end. These two plug into the charger, into the, uh, these two plug into the solar panel, and this plugs into the EcoFlow, and away you go. That's what we call the male end, that's what we call the female end. Put that one into there. That one into there. And then, you just plug that straight, just plug that one there directly into the power bank. Then it should start charging. Although there's not a lot of sun just at the minute. There's the new solar panel just there. I've brought my old solar panel out with me this time as well, just so that I can show you the differences. These are my old solar panels. They've been very good to me, I have no complaints. But let's have a look at a size comparison. It comes up sort of just up to the top of my hip. They're bifacial, so, so there's solar panels on the back as well, which allows you to get light from behind and just bump up the charge rate a little bit. Now this is the new solar panel. The first thing you'll notice, they're both 220 watts. This one can't charge from the back. It's got no, no panels on the back. But you'll notice it's not leaning on a table. That one's leaning on a table over there just to help support it. This has got its own legs. That's a huge, I love that. I'm absolutely super impressed with those legs. And it's much smaller. Look at the size of it. It's just down just above my knee. Now I've set my panels up facing the sun and let's see how well it's charging. 175 watts. Considering I'm on uneven ground, I reckon that's great. That's excellent. 175 watts. You can see there's an input of 175, but there's no output because I've got nothing plugged into it. At that speed, this will be fully charged from 45% that it is now in four hours. On the left, you'll see four hours. That means it's got four hours remaining until fully charged at the uh, at 175 watts. Well, folks, just before I wrap up here in the wind, there's just a couple of things that I want to talk about. But before I do, just a reminder to check out the pinned comment or the video description on YouTube where you'll find links and further information to EcoFlow products, sales, etc. Now, just because they're 220 watt solar panels, new ones and old ones, you're not going to get a guaranteed 220 watts. These are manufactured and tested under standard tested testing conditions. But once you actually get out in the outdoors, there's a lot of variables. It could be a little bit of haze or high level cloud that could just bring it down a little bit. And you have to be pointed directly at the sun. EcoFlow do sell a solar tracker. It's a great big device. You put your, your solar panels on it and it will track the sun and move with the sun. Quite expensive, but a very handy looking bit of gear. But if you can just plug that in, just using your eye, not lining anything up, point it towards the sun and just get 175 watts straight off the bat. That's very impressive. I'm very happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. Thank you all very much for watching and don't forget to check out the links below for further information.